Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I don't know if you can hear the air conditioning. I mean, not the air, the washing machine going, but I'm sorry in advance if you do hear it. Anyway, today we're doing the Defenders, and we're doing episode 6 of season 1. The episode is called Ashes, Ashes. So we start off with Al Alexandria listening to music on this old Tommy Late record player. And like a really old one, I think like probably from the 20s or something. That's that big um, horn type thing where the music travels up into and but the music starts to skip on the record so she takes it off and then she checks the record and just puts it in her lap and that's pretty much the gist of that scene or something and so then um the bad guy back with the defenders um his head is officially beheaded and you see his head which is so gross and stick um thinks that danny rand who's the iron fist is a key to something but they don't know what yet so um Danny starts to like say like we should just work together. We should do this and should we should, we should do that. Uh, but they start to turn on him. They and they suggest to hide him, which is not like a bad thing. But Danny wants to go out there and do something. He wants to be active. He doesn't want to be hidden. And so, you know, he doesn't take it too well. And they try to fight him. And Danny uses the fist, and they all literally go flying everywhere. <laughs> But, um, but Jessica does get up first and knocks him out. And so they tie him up and then they start to create a plan. And they decide that um, Jessica and Matt are going to try to get um, information about the architect guy and Cage stays behind with Danny. And then um, Murdoch and Letcher start talking in another scene. And it turns out she was just dreaming from it. And she only woke up in his apartment. <laughs> And then um, she goes over to the chest where he keeps his Daredevil stuff at and sees his notebook and it has um, a bookmark in it that has a Bible passage in it. And so she takes that as she leaves. And then Stick and, and Cage talk a little bit about incense and like what's all the stuff you're doing. And then we cut to Murdoch and Jessica go to the architect's guy, um, wife's apartment. Um, the wife isn't home, but the daughter is. But they still go inside. She agreed to let him in. And so then, um, but before that, because I jumped ahead just a little bit, uh, they, um, Jessica and Matt go to his apartment, and Matt, um, Murdoch finds out what is missing because he knows that the truck was open and everything. And then they start to walk and they start to to discuss tar um, tactics about how to handle the situation and then we go to our architect's house and then we talk to then we cut to Alexandra and Gal talking but for Gal walks in she's taking Alexandra's taking her medicine but she quickly hides it when Gal just enters the room without knocking and then they talk a little bit and then uh, Gal seems to be sympathetic and is willing to go along with her then when she leaves the place, she talks to the other guy and says the plans will go, so she's being shady as crap. And then, um, then we cut to Rand is now awake. <laughs> Danny's awake now, and he is still mad. And, um, <laughs> and then, um, he has to stick with what he's doing. He's just, like, centering my animal, and Kate's just like, what is this mess? <laughs> So they're kind of explaining like, what centering his animal is, and it's like, it's like your spirit animal, and that type of thing. And so they uh, they start to talk, and they kind of like get along, but kind of don't. It's kind of weird. And then we cut to Jessica tells uh, Matt's story to the architect's uh, daughter. And it's kind of interesting, because Matt's just kind of giving her a side eye, like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> and then... Um, then we got to her electric goes to her, uh, to her grave and Alexandra just pops up right behind her and tells her that she's dying and tells her about the substance and how she used it to bring back Electra. And then Stick and Rand talk and then we cut to Architect's daughter uh, starts talking and how that he used to play the piano but he stopped doing it after all the shadiness started happening. And so Murdoch says, like, uh, do you mind if I play? Because I used to play um, sometimes in the church choir. So he starts to play the piano, and then he hits a note, and it turns out there's something off with that note. So they 
find something actually in the piano and it's like um it's it's like um building plans for the mill and circle building turns out there's a structure underneath the ground it's like a dome shape and then stick um talks to cage about war and purpose and then turns out that incense is uh, such a drug and it knocks out cage like pretty bad and then uh, Stick wants to kill Danny because if he, if they, if the hand can have the artifice, no one can. Like they're going after him, he doesn't want anyone to have the key to opening the door. And that's the structure that's already the mill and circle building. And but um, before that happens, Electra shows up. So uh, shows up and then Stick versus Electra, and she straight up kills Stick as. The defenders come in, and well, she's almost killing him, almost. And then um, Matthew shows up, and she goes, "Oh, hello, Matthew. How are you?" And then just let her kill Stick. I'm like, "What? Let's get to do what?" <laughs> that was, I thought that was like one of the craziest things ever. So um, she, uh, so Stick is dead now, and then she knocks out literally everybody else and captures Danny. And then we cut to the Chinese guy. So, um, Breeze is like this really expensive bottle of champagne. Like, super expensive bottle. Apparently he found it on the floor of some sea. I don't know where. I forgot where he says or something to be. Anyway. And it's like, this is special time. And I want you to enjoy your last dinner. So he's like trying to plan a, a coup and everything. And um, he said, I want you to, basically says, I want, again, like, I want you to enjoy your last meal. And then um, Electra then comes in and brings Rand to her, and then um, we cut to where um, all of the hands show up, and so the um, Chinese guy says to Alexandra he wants her to enjoy his last meal, and then at that moment, before anything happens, um, Electra brings Rand to her, and so then Alexandra is talking to the rest of the hand and what happens is um, they're talking and they start bickering and stuff and then Electra just has enough and she kills Alexandria point blank and says uh, now y'all work for me now I was like holy shit that's crazy this was such a good episode I was like what is happening right now because that is just insanity to me and I was just like Oh my god. How that ending was just so trippy and so crazy. I said, what in the hell? And you can tell the other members of the hand were like, oh shit. <laughs> what did we do? <laughs> but um, it was such a good episode. I'll give it an A plus episode. It was really good. Um, I really have nothing bad to say about it really. And, um, I would, uh, yeah, I'm wearing a different shirt just because I had to, um, stop abruptly yesterday and I had to do other stuff. I didn't get back until it's like, super late. So, um, my schedule's kind of crazy sometimes. So, anyway, I hope y'all enjoy this video. And if you did, please give it a like, comment down below what you think of the episode. Did you agree, disagree with me? Did I miss anything out that you thought was important? And... Just subscribe for more stuff and also comment down below if you want me to react to anything else. Uh, just let me know and I'll see you in my next video. And subscribe and have an awesome day. Bye everybody.